focus PK. Thank you for having me here. Let me introduce you today to a kid who was wild at heart and free of spirit, a dreamer, a go-getter, who couldn't fit into norms, and who is fearless and believes very clearly that Allah guides and protects her, who has always believed impossible is nothing. Me, Amna Khan, I'm your friendly neighborhood ad film director, so saying hi to you. I wanted to start with a little line that Bruce Lee once said. Um, it's, as you think, so shall you become. It's sort of the gist of what I'm going to say today. I was blessed to be born to an upright Pakistani liberal family that really tried to keep me on track, somewhat, however best they could, but they couldn't. Forever the black sheep, the mischievous prankster, the mimicker, the outlaw, the crazy wild child. I was always a handful of disturbance in their punctual, structured, organized lives. Somehow, somehow, I got through school, mostly because of an academically strict father and a no-nonsense tolerating mother and a very, uh, very disciplinarian Parsi whip-run school and iron fist teachers and the sheer drive that one day, one day, this will all be over and I can go and act uh, in a Tarzan or pirate or some comedy Hollywood movie. I could fly planes, I could drive fast cars, I could keep horses and dogs and chimpanzees and dolphins as friends, and I could travel the world. But uh, as everybody eventually realizes, after school comes college, and then university. And there seemed to be no end to the powers that be wanting me to somehow get an education. So I did my MBA from Greenwich Southeastern University. I did film diplomas and courses from London, from New York Film Academy, from Singapore and Australia. Uh, I did uh, CSS, which is the Federal Service, uh, Public, Public Service Commission course from the government of Pakistan. I did uh, my master's Da Vinci colorist course uh, from Singapore. And I did uh, private flying lessons from a private flying club. So I grew up wanting to fly with precision, speed, and passion. Be a fighter pilot for the PAF. Was rejected twice, simply for being a girl. I was disappointed in no end, because at that point in time, PAF was not inducting pilots who were females. Later, I did some you know, uh, time-consuming single-engine Cessna flying with some private flying school in Karachi. But with limited time uh, in my filming schedule, I couldn't uh, you know, see it completely through. So to enjoy speed, I started playing flight simulator games and motor racing games and combat video games, and I became a bit of a video gamer. And of course, I drive my fa car fast. During school and college, I had been very actively involved in music and theater. So to take that forward, that craft, uh, in university I began anchoring for TV and uh, did some music shows and I also acted for TV. I worked in front of and behind the camera on shows like VJ and Music Channel Charts and Agent X and several others. I also did some voice acting for Sesame Street when it was brought to Pakistan in about 204 episodes. Um, against you know, all this from the beginning against all odds from the media industry bro codes to the no-nos of the family on late night working hours uh, to finishing university semesters on time and with good GPA. Everything, it wasn't easy. I had to fight on every front. And I started, um, I started editing and I started directing videos. So girl editors at that point in time was completely something unheard of and mostly laughed at and they were they were completely discluded, so to speak, from, um, you know, being de they were deterred from learning the skin properly and uh, getting to be good editors because you needed time with the machine, you need practice. And at that point, studio editors were mostly guys. Um, so, uh, you know, working late night hours, it's, it's tricky. It, it gets a bit tough. Um, but somehow, you know, they, they watched me, they, they started respecting the dedication and the work ethic that I was showing. And slowly, 
um, they started, you know, bonding with me. And they started, you know, sharing, you know, little jokes that they had played on previous uh, people who, had, who were female who had come and started editing with them. Like, for instance, you know, Dissolve studio mein khatam ho gaya hai. Raat ke do baj rahe hai. aapko market se leke aana parega Dissolve. To please aap jaye ho leke aane. And those girls, poor things, had gone to the market to get a Dissolve. So, you know, they'd be crap, crack up and they were cracking these jokes with me. And, you know, all, 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 of course, it was disconcerting in a way because it was about other girls. But the fact that they were bonding and sharing, uh, these inside jokes with me seemed to kind of show that, you know, they had included me as one of the bros. And somehow I felt at that point uh, that that was the only obvious way that men in our country uh, somehow know how to be inclusive or bond with another human being. It doesn't matter, be it a guy or a girl, uh, you know, bhai bana lete. So if you're a bhai with them, then you know you're with it and you're, you, you have it. Um, and, you know, as it was in college, even in the media, in the workplace, I started being called Khan Saab and Dada and Boss. Well, now everybody's called Boss. But at that point, it started even in the professional work. Um, direction seemed to pull me more and more and more because it was overall challenging. And it was a bigger career choice to me and sort of, uh, you know, the kind of adrenaline junkie that I've been, uh, it seemed to kind of fulfill that, you know, whole scope and drive of adrenaline. But please note here that you know, I mean, it was, it was especially difficult in a country like Pakistan for a girl to kind of wing it in the media at that time. Um, however, I'd just like to point out that I've never, never played the girl card. I have, regardless of, you know, mostly finding myself standing alone in an ocean of men, I've always dived into challenges and competed head on as an equal. You have to do things alone at times, or you have to run an army of 200 people um, at times during a production and finish the work within limited hours. You need to be prepared, you need to know exactly what you want, and you need to get it right to the realistic max. That's kind of what direction is about. Um, so it seemed kind of, it seemed really all encompassing. And it has, it sort of covers many things. It covers creativity, you need to have creativity, you need to be a smart storyteller. You need to have command over your skill and changing technology and people. You need to have a sense of design and aesthetic. You need to have physical strength and stamina, so you've got to stay fit. Um, you have to have critical and strategic thinking abilities to shoot in various locations, temperatures and climates and conditions. You need consistent problem solving, troubleshooting and chaos management abilities. Working around the clock to meet project deadlines with little or sometimes no sleep and you need sense of humor to survive and stay fresh. So in the industry, we, in the media production world here in Pakistan, we've come to believe in the Murphy's Law. Anything that can go wrong, does go wrong. And we plan for every possible contingency. We believe despite all possible planning and solutions, only Allah really pulls us through. When you see something playing on TV or the internet, you can never, never fully imagine what all must have happened behind the scenes to bring it to you. I think this work has toughened me in ways that are unimaginable, and so many others with me, uh, much better than trained commandos at times, to handle just about anything life may throw at us. We are the calm over the chaos. We get the job done. Bruce Lee once said, be like water, because water can fill any vessel, and." You know, water can flow, can creep, can tickle, can, can crash, it can drop, depending on what's required. So be like water. Never stop. Pick yourself up and get the job done. So over 24 or so years, I've worked on commercial films for various very international local clients. And uh, I've shot in countries like the UK and France and Egypt and Thailand and Singapore and Dubai and Australia and the list goes on. And of course, my beloved Pakistan. I've had the good fortune to employ the best and the best of professionals internationally and locally, and uh, also celebrities locally, locally and internationally. Um, I've been a rare director who's actually successfully given many genres uh, for people to watch for my clients and audiences, which include um, action, comedy, romance, m horror, food films, mood films, lifestyle films. Uh, I feel really blessed to have had a very fantastic uh, team and uh, we've had good grip of stunts and green skin and animation techniques and we've had the fantastic opportunity to travel the world 
Um, and, and with this globe trotting that we've been doing, we've also uh, covered a lot of our spectacular country, Pakistan, and been hosted by some of the really beautiful, loving, hearty people of Pakistan. And like most people who go into filmmaking, uh, everybody wants to make a feature film. I so also want to make a feature film. And being a girl, it's extremely tough uh, to do this alone in this industry. And so I hope it can happen at some point. I also try and do philanthropic work on and off uh, because I think that too is extremely important. So several of my music videos, like Dosti, Preeto, Jat, Sali, Dupatta, Bue Bari, I don't know if you've seen of these, any of these, Rangeen, Mehbooba, Allah Kare, just to name a few. And the first, the very first Pepsi Battle of the Bands that was launched in 2002 soared the careers of many local singers and bands and stars and my TV commercials for nearly most of the top brands of Pakistan, um, beverages and FMCGs and telcos and whatnot, banks. Uh, they've, um, they've raised the bar for the industry and Allah's been kind, he's blessed us and rooted me as one of the most soft, sought after directors in Pakistan. I've always run Dream Team Films as an equal opportunity, free-spirited workplace with strong ethics and moral code and in how we acquire the work and how we proudly deliver it. We also uh, do you know, stop motion animations and creative other work that we do on the side, you know, the little things that we try and keep doing. We've got YouTube social IPs that we keep putting fun stuff on. So I feel breast, blessed in having run into uh, and taken on great opportunities to enjoy my work and career and to be able to volunteer and reach out and help people. I feel blessed to have had a tough father and the kindest mother in the world. She's truly been my backbone all my life. And I feel extremely blessed to have a wonderful supportive brother that any could, anybody could have. Blessed to have had a fantastic team. Every project that I've done has brought with it new experiences, travels, adventures, challenges, and victories. A lifetime of learning and achievement and happy memories. And I learn new things every day. It's been an honor working as a proudly Pakistani director, actor, editor, colorist, voice actor, and CEO of a film production company from 1994 to date. A truly thrilling roller coaster ride with mad long hours and mad fun all the way. Over the years, I keep coming across this meme. And this meme, I'm sure you've come across it on Facebook too. It's hard to be a woman. It says it's hard to be a woman. You must think like a man, act like a lady, look like a young girl, work like a horse or a boss. So initially, even I believed in it a little bit, and I was kind of doing those things, but I've always felt compelled to evolve and bring it to another level. So I leave you with this thought. It's hard to be good at anything. Take your time, find yourself. To be a woman, you must think like yourself, act like yourself, look like yourself, and work like yourself. You're not a drop in the ocean. You are the entire ocean in one drop. Thank you for being a great audience.